it, it was uh, it was a question related to when we're talking about theta per stimulation and this person says okay thanks so it should work right um, is is it more effective to do theta burst or normal TMS for anxiety okay so this person in, in a previous question asked you know whether uh, somebody can use uh, uh, theta per stimulation for the reason of an anxiety and we answered that question is yes you could use continuous theta per stimulation for an anxiety so similar to how you know with uh, RTMS we're using continuous low frequency TMS you know to calm the brain you know for the reason of an anxiety you can do the same thing with continuous continuous theta per stimulation. But then this person is asking, so which one is better? You know, should I do one hertz low frequency RTMS or should I do uh, continuous uh, theta per stimulation for the reason of anxiety? Well, unfortunately, we do not have head to head trials comparing, you know, uh, low frequency RTMS with continuous theta per stimulation. We do have head to head trial for the reason of depression with high frequency um, RTMS 10 hertz versus high frequency intermittent theta per stimulation at 50 hertz. And that one showed that there is, it's, uh, that uh, theta per stimulation is not inferior to RTMS. So it's at least as good, okay? All right, uh, but we, we you know, the, again, the answer to your question is that we don't have head-to-head -head trials, so I don't really have, like, you know, an answer, um, you know, which one you should pick. Most of the times, clinics that are very accustomed to doing a lot of theta per stimulation, they would lean towards, you know, continuous theta per stimulation for the reason of uh, treatment anxiety, while clinics that are more leaned towards uh, uh, 10 hertz uh, RTMS are more leaned towards 1 hertz uh, low-frequency TMS on the right side for the reason of anxiety. Disclaimer. Although I am a psychiatrist, this is not a professional advice as I am not familiar with the specifics of your unique situation. Please contact a psychiatrist in your area with more questions. This disclaimer is added to my answers on social media after consulting with the American Psychiatric Association. Thank you.